Let me start by saying how excited I am for Knuckles and Sonic 2. Knuckles looks like the badass Knuckles I remember as a kid. The fact that he's going to have his spin-off show makes me hopeful that we'll get to see the lone wolf Knuckles we seem to have lost along the way. When I was a kid, Sonic 3 Knuckles was the game I would spend all day playing. People today have Fortnite or Overwatch, but back then it was Sonic 3 and Knuckles with my brother all day. Kids in school, unfamiliar with Sonic's lore, saw Knuckles as the cool Red Sonic in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And Knuckles was cool. Being able to play as Knuckles meant that for the first time, at least for me, I was able to play a game from the villain's perspective. Being able to go through all these secret paths of the floating island made his experience unique. With his ability to glide, destroy walls by just running into them, and climb up walls, playing as Knuckles was almost like playing a completely different game. For a lot of newer fans, or for the uninitiated, Knuckles is seen as a dumb or naive and gullible person. Well, I want to take us to the two seemingly canon instances where Knuckles was tricked by Robonic and show everyone that it's not that he's dumb or naive, but that we'd all make the same mistakes if given his life experiences. This is a lesson in seeing from someone else's perspective. Welcome to Inner Warrior, where I help pop culture fans with tips and tools to unleash their inner warrior to achieve their goals. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get all the latest tips and tools from pop culture. So, why did Knuckles get tricked by Dr. Robotnik? There are two versions of Knuckles depending on what we follow. In Sonic Adventure, Knuckles appears to be a loner, with no friends or family. In the Sonic 3 manual, Knuckles' friends were simply the animals on a floating island. Either way, he's the last of his kind, the sole guardian of the Master Emerald and the floating island's Chaos Emeralds. Though, Sonic Adventure seems to have changed Knuckles' focus to just the Master Emerald. In the Japanese Sonic 3 manual, Knuckles protected the Chaos Emeralds and one day, they disappeared. As the manual states, it happened without warning. As Knuckles was checking one of the Chaos Emeralds to see if there was anything wrong with it, the Chaos Emerald in front of him glittered and began to vibrate abnormally. Knuckles is puzzled by this unprecedented phenomenon. The Chaos Emerald began to vibrate more and more intensely. Just as the vibrations reached their peak, there was a flash of light with a screech. Knuckles' memory was blacked out when he felt his body float away. When Knuckles regained consciousness, his body had been thrown outside the altar. As he slowly woke up and looked around, he saw the half-destroyed altar of the Chaos Emeralds. Knuckles rushes into the altar. However, the Chaos Emeralds that were supposed to be there were gone, not even a fragment left behind. I'm still unsure if this is supposed to be the same Emeralds that were in Sonic 1 and 2, but if they are, I can understand how Knuckles would be pissed that he failed his one job. At this point, there's no mention of the Master Emerald, so let's say that right now the issue is that the Chaos Emeralds are missing, but the Master Emerald is still okay. Either way, Knuckles would be panicking trying to figure out what happened to them. Knuckles eventually finds Dr. Robotnik in the forest after seeing a giant egg that Knuckles believed to be the dragon egg foretold to bring destruction to the floating island, when in reality, it was just a death egg. Dr. Robotnik tells Knuckles, I'm the scientist who came to investigate that egg. Hmm. If you are the guardian of the Chaos Emeralds, I must tell you this. The thing is, there's an evil hedgehog named Sonic who's been interfering with my research, and it seems he's after the Chaos Emeralds on this island. From what we can gather so far, this is the first time Knuckles even had to worry about an outsider on the floating island. Think of the Native Americans seeing Europeans for the first time. That would be Knuckles' perspective. And this guy's a doctor, a scientist, researching the egg. He tells you that this hedgehog is after the island's emeralds. Then, Super Sonic comes rushing onto the island. Knuckles literally smacks the emeralds out of Super Sonic. These are the emeralds that went missing. Knuckles takes the emeralds back and hides them in special rings around the island. Imagine yourself in that scenario. You don't already know Dr. Robotnik, or the evil doctor trope, or that Sonic is a hero. Everything does seem to point to Sonic having taken the emeralds as he literally was using their power to fly onto your island. I don't believe it's so far-fetched to believe that many people would fall for the same con. If you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up and share it with fellow Sonic and Knuckles fans. So, what about Knuckles being tricked in Sonic Adventure? Knuckles, at this point, doesn't hang around Sonic all the time. He's got his own thing going on, protecting the Master Emerald alone on a floating island. 
The Master Emerald was destroyed while Knuckles was sleeping and Chaos is just suddenly there and knocks him around before leaving. Knuckles has no idea what's going on at this point. All he knows is that he needs to recollect the Master Emerald Shards and bring the floating island back into the sky away from the reaches of evil greedy men and women. He spots Dr. Robotnik and believes he has a Master Emerald Shard as something shines in Robotnik's hand. And at this point, Dr. Robotnik has tried to gain the Master Emerald's power before, so why wouldn't Knuckles believe Robotnik had a shard? But Robotnik shows him that it's a Chaos Emerald, which isn't what Knuckles was looking for. As at this point, it seems Knuckles also being a protector of the Emeralds was basically retconned. When Robotnik tells Knuckles that Sonic is also after the Master Emerald shards, Knuckles doesn't immediately trust Robotnik, he actually goes to find Sonic, whom he hasn't seen in a while, to see why Robotnik would even say that. Knuckles doesn't care about Chaos, the Emeralds, or Robotnik. He needs to fulfill his duty as the protector of the Master Emerald. When Robotnik tells him Sonic is after Master Emeralds, and Knuckles decides to find Sonic, Knuckles is simply trying to get to the bottom of everything. Why would Robotnik say Sonic and Knuckles are on a wild goose chase looking for the Master Emerald Shards? Knuckles even questions why Sonic would be after the Master of Emerald Shards in the first place. It's actually not that far-fetched to believe Sonic would be after it though. Sonic has used the power of the Chaos Emeralds himself before when the Chaos Emeralds first went missing. Sonic also knows the power of the Master Emerald. Is it that far-fetched to believe Sonic and Tails would be looking for that power? Tails used a Chaos Emerald to power his plane, after all. In fact, Sonic and Tails are still after Chaos Emeralds and their power to get them before Dr. Robotnik does. When Knuckles sees Sonic and Tails holding a green emerald, Knuckles mistakes it for a Master Emerald Shard. Knuckles, being the hothead that he can be, charges Sonic. Knuckles is the shoot and ask questions later type of person. When Knuckles tells Sonic to hand over the emerald, Sonic says that's not happening. Neither of them know that they are talking about different emeralds. When Knuckles finds out that Sonic had Chaos Emeralds and not the Master Emerald Shard, Sonic can't believe that Knuckles fell for Robotnik's trick again, but Knuckles points out that Sonic was also tricked into fighting him. If Sonic would have responded differently when asked to hand over the Emeralds, they wouldn't even have been fighting in the first place. So it's not like Knuckles was the only one tricked. And when Dr. Robotnik leaves, he and Sonic are good. Knuckles has things to take care of and Sonic says he and Tails can handle Robotnik. Knuckles isn't as gullible and dumb as people make him out to be. Why does it seem like Knuckles was tricked more than these two specific instances? Because in any universe Knuckles is introduced, the comics, the Sonic Advance games, TV shows, etc., Knuckles' storyline of being tricked by Robotnik is always used. That doesn't mean he's gullible or dumb, it means that that's a focal story that writers like to use. Knuckles, Tails, and even Sonic himself have seen downgrades in their personalities over the years, but I'm excited to see that as of right now, we're getting the badass Guardian back in the Sonic movie universe. Are you excited for Knuckles and Sonic 2 and a Knuckles TV show? Let me know in the comments below. And click here if you want to learn when to be overconfident and when not to be overconfident by looking at Sonic the Hedgehog. Or click here if you want to learn how we can search the multiverse of madness for our variants and integrate with them to achieve our goals.